All right, before we get into unfolding the actual model that we've created, uh, I want to show you what it is this Flattery plugin does. So I've got a kind of sample piece of geometry here. Uh, it isn't anything in particular other than just some faces to show you how this plugin works. So if I go under View and Tool Palettes, once you have the plugin uh, installed, uh, the, it'll appear right here, and you have this little five button tool palette. And it has five different features one, index edges, unfold faces, reunite faces, add tabs, and SVG export. And SVG stands for scalable vector graphic. Uh, and we'll get into what those are when we get close to the end of this tutorial. But the first one we want to do or use is the index edges. So if I select everything, and index edges. Basically what that does is the plugin goes through and identifies what edges are touching so that now if I go to unwrap something I, it will basically take and move the first face you click to be on the same plane as the second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unwrap from this we'll call it the nose area, unwrap and flatten it out so that it's on the same plane as this. So I select my Unfold faces, select the first one, select the second. And notice that now the first one has been rotated so it's right there on the same plane as that one. And it also groups them. So now if I continue, I can unfold that so now this is completely unfolded. And I can click off so that I'm not using that tool anymore. And I'll do the same back here. So I'll do unfold. Select that one, and now that one's been pushed down, so it's on the same plane as this one. But when I click this one, it brings them both back up. So you can start to see what it is that this Unfold Flattery pl plugin does. So I'm going to continue and go with this to that, and go from this to that, to that, so now that side's completely unfolded. And then I can even say I want it to be pulled up so it's on the side there. So it kind of starts to look like a cardboard box flattened out. That's kind of the whole point. And I'm just hitting the space bar to unselect that tool so I can select the next one. And it may take a little bit of practice and you'll kind of figure out a strategy of which faces you want to unfold to where and kind of where you want your fold seams to be. So, once we get all the faces, oh, I forgot that one. Let's undo. That to there, that to there. All right, so you can see we now have a completely flat version of our geometry. So then if we were to print this out and cut it out in paper, we could actually put this back together, which is sort of what we're doing with our foam core, only we're going to want to design our A folds and B folds to go along these edges. So with that in mind, uh, we're going to do the same type of thing to our model that we designed. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. I don't need to save it. All right. And I'm going to start with, let's see. Well, we notice that our tail is mostly already flat anyway. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. Actually, let me do this. I'm going to make this a component first. And this way I can keep a version of this model in this file in its kind of assembled phase. So I've just basically duplicated the plane, and I'm just going to hide this. And it's just going to stay there. Not, that way I can always go back to that version of it that's not unfolded if I want. All right, but this one, we're going to explode. And I'm going to move the tail out in all of its separate pieces. And let's rotate this so it's flat. There we go. 
All right, and I'm just going to move the wings apart here because I'm going to start with the fuselage. So I'm going to hide these. All right, I'm going to explode so it's just my geometry. And looking at this, the strategy I'm going to go with is I'm going to have this top flat area where the wing is going to be able to be attached to as kind of my anchor point. So all of these different faces are going to be unfolded so that they branch back to this flat plane right here. So to do that, I'm first going to kind of split the two sides of my fuselage out so they're in line with the side of the fuselage. And then I'm going to bring those sides up so they're on the same plane. And then I'm going to bring up this windscreen area. All right, so by index faces. And there have been times that I've had SketchUp crash while using this plugin, but it doesn't happen all that often. All right, so I'm going to now unfold this to that. And you can see it pulled it right up off of there. And I'm going to do this part first. So there's that, to that, to that. All right, so we've basically flattened out kind of our top view. And since the sides of our fuselage are flat, but the tail section kind of canters back in a little bit, I'm going to unfold these so they go onto the same plane as the side. And while I'm pretty sure these are already on the same plane as the side, I'm going to go ahead and use the unfold tool to make sure of it. All right. So now I've sort of got my flattened out area here. And now I want to bring them up to the same plane as this top edge. So I'll select them, flatten that that way, select that one, flatten it that way. And there we have it. So now we've got our basic flattened out plan for the fuselage. So let me unhide. All right, I'll go ahead and hide that one again. And you can use something called the outliner to selectively hide and unhide, but that would kind of clutter up the workspace here for what I'm trying to show. All right, and I'm just going to move, start moving these pieces that are already flattened out of the way here. All right. And now, let's do the wing. Now, if I look at this part of the wing right here, where I've got these extra edges and geometry, I have a feeling those are going to give me a bit of trouble when I go to unfold them. But thankfully, they're very thin areas, so if they don't unfold the way I want them to, I can always kind of edit that when I go to put the final touches on my plan. But really we're worried or concerned with, you know, unfolding the major parts of the geometry. Oh, I've got an extra line here. Let me get rid of that. There we go. And the way I'm going to approach this wing unfolding is I'm going to unfold so that this is going to be my anchor plane and the top is going to unfold out and over. All right, so let me explode that and unfold to there, unfold to there, unfold to there, and unfold to there. And sure enough, you can see those little curvy edges. They're not unfolding exactly the way I want it. Um, let me, I'll make at least a bit of an attempt to get those to unfold. Let's see. But if this doesn't work, I'm not going to worry too much about it. So that unfolds there. All right, so now if I unfold, let's see here. Let's go with unfolding this. Oh, see, yeah, it's actually hard to select that one plane. 
go to there. All right. Hmm. Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and ignore those and go with that. And I can always come back in, like I said, later time and add these little curves back in. All right. And as you can see, that gives us our fold over wing design. Now, since the wings are symmetrical, rather than going through and unfolding this other one, I'm going to actually just duplicate this one. All right. So let me go ahead and delete that. Oops. I'm going to select this, duplicate it along here, and flip along red axis. Thank you to user on flight test community just in time for pointing that little trick out to me with the flip along. And so at that point we've basically got our plan unfolded. If I go to my top view, uh, let's see here, this one is actually got its blue faces up, which isn't that big of a deal, but Blue direction. There we go. All right, so we can start arranging these how we would want them. Uh, let's see. Now, here's the thing. At this point, we've unwrapped it. It's flat, but you'll notice that we haven't put in our A folds and B folds and the reliefs and so forth. So that would be something that we would do next. But I know that there's a lot of people out there that want to kind of jump ahead and, and get this out to a printed format. So I'm going to show you how to get this at least out into something that you can turn into a PDF. Uh, and then in my next tutorial, I'm going to come back and show you how to refine your plans to add in those B folds and A folds. And who knows, you may be able to look at what you've got here and just into it where you're going to put your folds and just do it when you print your plans out. All right, so I'm just looking at my top view here, and I've got all these different groups. Now, what we want to do is we want to produce a uh, something called a vector graphic. Most of the graphics that you see on the web and in software packages are what are called raster graphics, and that means that they are basically made up of pixels or tiles on the screen. Uh, and if I, I can even show you here. I can do this without crashing my computer. Let's see. So you can see that these are individual pixels that are all staggered up. Picture it's a mosaic, a bunch of tiles moving around. Those are raster graphics. Now, with vector graphics, you basically have something that is defined by points and plots with information saying put a point at this XY coordinate and draw a line to this XY coordinate. Why do you need vector graphics as opposed to raster graphics? Well, as you noticed, when I zoomed in here, raster graphics will pixelate. You get these jaggies along here. However, vectors, since they're all based on math, when you scale them up, they stay completely sharp and crisp. That way, your plans can be printed at any size and any resolution and they'll say crisp and, and the edges will be clear. Uh, so to do that we're actually going to use this bottom button here and I'm just going to select my items, put this all into one load, explode my component, All right, there we go. Let me zoom back out a little bit. So here you can see that you've got the wings and the tail and basically everything that we had in our plan. All right, so if you're familiar with dealing with graphics files and so forth, you can basically take from here and run with it if you want. Um, in the next 
set of the tutorials, I'm going to cover basically how to refine this. Uh, we're going to go back into our plan here and add in lines for our A folds and B folds and basically do the final polish and production of a PDF that uh, we can print out to scale. Uh, but this should help give you kind of a head start. I know a lot of people are chopping at the bit at uh, how you could go about unfolding things and getting them to a printable format. So, till next time.